It's all good. It's going to work out. It's not going to work out. It will work out. out. I'm telling you. It'll be fine. Because we're here for the... Uh, for the where are we? What are we doing again? The Fortunato and Joe cooking show. We had to write it so it would rhyme. Yeah. And we, we don't even have a teleprompter to tell us what to say. No. Which is a bit of a worry. That's because we're talented. We don't need to have yeah, someone well that, tell us. Yeah, that is true. We don't need prompting. We are here this morning... Um, Lovely friend Joe, the Colonel, has uh, let us come over to his beautiful kitchen uh, where we are going to cook up a storm, aren't we, Joe? Oh, we're going to cook up a real big storm. Yeah. It's going to be a disaster. It's going to be rocks and everything. Rocks and, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that in a minute. But, you know, for those people that have sent us messages and sent you recipes, we don't want to disappoint you because, to be honest, we are hopeless in the kitchen. So what we're going to be doing is uh, very, very simple uh, desserts and, and a, couple of, okay, a couple of desserts that you might want to try at home. Now, uh, Joe, look at this guy. Joe, I'm just... I just can't believe I this just, guy. What's wrong? Can, can, you, you, can you just have, have a little... itch? I just want to know, is, is your name on that, Joe? Uh, let me actually <laughs> check. Oh, what's this shirt here with all these names? Look at this. This is fantastic. You got your glasses there, on? No, yeah. there, there isn't... Uh, no, my name doesn't seem to appear on this what's shirt. What's happened? I was, I was making a comment last night that um, we couldn't fit all the names on there. So, oh, so what yeah, we're okay. cooking today, I'm going to have to eat it all up myself. So there's so more. that there's more room, and I've got to buy a bigger shirt. I get it. You get I it? understand. But that's very... You're the only person so far who's actually it. got that. Yeah. Well, I disagree with you for tonight. I always just agree. Keep you happy. Thank you. Now, very I love this shirt. So this shirt. Do you like it? Where yeah. did it come from? Came from America. Really? Mm-hmm. Hang on. Don't yeah. start. It's made, it, made in Pakistan on it, but did it come from? It, oh, it doesn't matter, but it came from America. It, oh, it was maybe made nice. in Pakistan. Isn't that nice? See how sport you are? I am very sport. Thank you to my lovely Facebook fans who, um, who surprised me yesterday with uh, the t shirt and a mug. Um, and a mug? Yeah, I got, <laughs> I got a mug as well. It was really, it's really nice too. Have you used it yet? Well, I got it yesterday, and I've been working all night and last been, night. Yeah, and, you have, yeah. and you didn't get home till 3 a.m. this morning? Pretty close. No, I, a bit earlier. We did pack up quite quick. So we got home just after 2 and you know, in bed by 2.30, <laughs> and the boys were up. 6.30, they were up, the boys. You know, your dad is the dad. Tony's actually here. He's, he's doing the video. So you may have just seen his hand appear in the shot, moving the dance uh, sign here. But now I've got nowhere to put my ingredients because the dance sign is right here. <laughs> anyway, the idea today is that we're going to try to keep this as short as possible and not go on forever. So, Joe, what, what's actually happening today? What are we doing? I, I, well, the we reason we're doing it at 11 a.m. is because for all of our uh, U.S. friends, and people that are in a different time zone. Because when we do shows at seven o'clock at night, uh, you know, all of our friends overseas are getting up at two, three, four in the morning. Crazy So times. we thought, you know, we do it at 11 a.m. our local time. And uh, of course, today it's, uh, you know, uh, the US theme. So that's why I've got my Ford Mustang oh, that? shirt on. That's why I've got my Mustang shirt on with uh. the US colors on the uh, neck and at the back Ford Mustang. So this is why I've got this shirt on. Uh, okay. I was going to put an apron on, but I don't have one that's appropriate. I've got, you know, you know the ones I'm talking about. I've got the no, one I've with got the, no idea what you're I've talking about. I've got one with, a, you know, like a bikini and there's another one with... Uh, 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 the, 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 the figure of, of David, like the statue oh, of David. Oh, okay, so yeah. I thought, I, I'm you know, starting for, to understand. For the time zone here, it wouldn't be appropriate. No, I, I, I don't think so. Next time, next Maybe, time. No, probably not even next time. Okay, no. thanks. No, not even look. next time. I... <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you sing a song while I uh, prepare the ingredients for our first Have you, Are you gonna Are you going to explain what we're doing or, or well, are you going to well, surprise people? No, I'm going to explain everything in detail so anyone at home can go out and cook this this afternoon. We'll actually okay. assemble it this afternoon. There's not really any cooking involved. So, so you go ahead. Okay. Why don't you sing us a song? I haven't really thought of what song to sing, even though you did tell me, Fortunado, make sure you know what songs you're going to sing. It's I said, the case. Don't worry about it. I'll sort it out on the day. I knew this. And was now right. we're here, and I have no idea what to do. <laughs> but I will think of something. Welcome to my world Won't you come on in Miracle 
miracles, I guess, still happen now and then. Step into my heart, leave your cares behind. Welcome to my world. Built with you in mind. Knock and the door will open. Seek and you will find. Ask and you be given the key to this heart of mine. I'll be waiting here. With my arms on fur Waiting just for you Welcome to my world La 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 Welcome to my world. Let's try one more time. Ready? Here we go. Knock and the door will open. Seek and you will find. Ask and you'll be given the key to this heart of mine. I'll be waiting here with my arms on firm, waiting just for you. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my Welcome to my world. Also, before we uh, continue, let us know where you are watching from. As Joey did say just before, uh, we have decided to come uh, and do this cooking demonstration show uh, early this morning, 11 o'clock, even though we're running a bit late anyway. But uh, for our lovely friends uh, in uh, the US and overseas, so that the times are a bit better, so that everyone can watch as well. Uh, yeah, that... That's the reason why we're here. So please, yeah, let us know exactly where you're watching from. We'd love to know. How'd you go, Joe? Are you there? I'm ready to go, and I'm ready to go. And I just want to know, how many people are watching, Tony? Can you give us an idea? Are we up to two or three people yet? Nine people. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, that's good. <laughs> Nine's nice. <laughs> no, look, it's nearly 100. No. But, you know, I thought no. to myself, it is 11.30. So, you know, a lot of people like, like you would normally go to church on a Sunday. So people might be leaving I'd normally church. Go, I normally go earlier than 11 o'clock. You go to the earlier session. Yeah. 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 No, because you do, don't you? Yeah. You're very yeah. religious. I, I know you are. Why don't you? Don't, I, I, I do go to church. I do. Not every Sunday. And I, I heard the last time you walked in there that the ceiling actually started to collapse inside. Is that right? That's what my mother used to say to me. She goes, yeah, she? The last time you would have gone in there, the ceiling would collapse. The ceiling would have yeah. collapsed, yeah, because yeah. it had been that long. Um, anyway... Like, Let's move on. Otherwise, we're going to be here for three hours like always. So the first I thing why. I want to make... Yes, Joe. Because you keep talking. I know, I know. The, the sound is good. Um, oh, is the sound as good? <laughs> if, <laughs> That's if, exactly what We'd love to know if the sound, if you can hear us clearly, because uh, Joe decided to buy these uh, these things here, and he, and he got them Folks, quite, don't believe it. quite you know. cheap on, uh, on eBay. People know the truth. They the were second hand and, and they were, I, I don't even want to say where they were from, but, but no, anyway, no. Uh, so we're hoping that you can hear us clearly. Well, Please let us. So. I hope so, otherwise we're going to have to start again. Well, people are, people are accustomed to my voice not sounding as good as yours because you always give me the, 
cheap microphone that doesn't work. I'm getting the thumbs up. I'm getting the thumbs up from Michelle in the corner there oh, telling me that the wow. audio is fine. Fantastic. There you go. See? And Michelle is? Oh, uh, my wife. Better half. Ah. Better half. There you go. So, it would be too hard to be the better half. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. Go, go. You see what happens, folks? If it's not so what are we doing today? What have we got? What are you? What have well, you... the first thing what? that we're going to actually make today, keep it nice and simple, is one of my favourite uh, treats and desserts, right? Yeah. And coming into Christmas, uh, it's, it's very popular to make this dessert and uh, this treat, and some people might like to package it up and give it as a Christmas gift. So it's actually, it's, it's quite complicated to make, but the name is very simple. It's called Rocky Road. Oh, wow. Rocky like, Road. Yeah, I like Have I you like ever Rocky. had the Rocky Road before? I, I've been on many Rocky Roads with my dad when we're driving out to the country. Similar. When we're driving down south, it's just it's very rocky. Very he, similar. He'll tell you all Do about it. Do you know the history it. about Rocky Roads other than when you travel with your dad? Let me explain. So, Rocky Road... Mm -hmm. uh, it is believed was invented in Australia in about the 1850s. Wow. And the reason uh, they invented it was in those days to bring candy from uh, England candy. to Australia because Australia being a settlement at the time, it would take many months. And by the time the candy arrived mm -hmm. into Australia, it wasn't, uh, the merchants didn't think it could be sold. So they decided to think of a way that they could package it up in order to create something to sell it. So wow. people wouldn't know that the actual candy or lolly was really? actually going I did, on. I did not know that. That's right. And then in about 1930 and 1929, around that time of, of the Great Depression, yeah. in America there was a guy there who... Tony's moving the dance sign all around. <laughs> the dance sign. There was a guy in, uh, in America who uh, actually created Rocky Road ice cream. Wow. And he did that as a treat because everyone was going through the depression. Yes. And this uh, was, a, was a treat that was invented at that time. So now, I wonder if there's anyone in the audience yeah. who would have known that. Let us know. Oh, let if, us know in the comments. If you knew the story uh, Joe just uh, told you, which I'm sure he looked up on Google no, about 10 no, minutes no. before we started. I actually learned that at school. Did you? Yeah, my school, we learned about Rocky Road. And, and they called like it that. candy? Well, well, we said candy. I say it for our American friends, you know, candy, candy, yeah. candy, My Rocky, boy. Rocky Road, you uh, know, just so, so they understand. Rocky Road and candy, yeah. Yeah. There's a candy song, isn't there? Candy, candy, no, candy. Well, you can sing. Candy, what's the candy song? There is a candy song. I know there's a... <laughs> there was my a phone just beeping. Lollipop, 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 Look at him. He, he's meant to be doing a cooking show and he's gone and entering his phone and making conversations. Unbelievable. We're you know why? We're live on Facebook. Because my phone just beeped. Can you believe it? How rude of me. Sorry, folks. Didn't mean to do that. Terrible. So yeah. we're going to make this? I think so, because okay. I've, I've never made it before, so it'll be... What you need um, is a bowl. Now, you may want to use a metal bowl or whatever. I thought I'd use a glass bowl. This is not really a bowl, but... It's, uh, it's some type of dish. Just so you can see all the ingredients going in. Uh, I'll get my spatula. Or mixing device, whatever you want to use. Now, very, very simple. The, most, the complicated part here is the actual chocolate. Now, I use a combination of dark and milk chocolate. Okay. Yep. Yeah, to, to make this. I've already portioned it out, about 100 grams of dark and 100 grams of milk chocolate, whatever chocolate you like. In Australia, we're blessed. We have many chocolates. Different. But, you know, so if Ingrid is watching, yeah, they have beautiful chocolate in, in, uh, in, uh, in Denmark. They do, yes. You know, so uh, they may have the Milka or the <laughs> Tolberon uh, chocolates over there. So uh, whatever she, you know, whatever you like, whatever you can get, it's great. You know, and in America, well, they have Hershey, Hershey chocolates in America. Mm. So I'm actually going to add this, 100 grams of dark, 100 grams of milk, just chopped up here. You can see, I'm just going to put it in, in this pot here to melt the chocolate. And how long have you had the pot on for? Uh, the pot's in on for about 15 minutes. So the water underneath is nice and boiling, and it's going to steam uh, to okay, melt so the chocolate. Okay, so you're steaming it. All right. Yeah, That's exactly, cool. exactly. Okay, so we're going to have to actually wait. But while, we, while that melts... I'll add the other ingredients. Now, what I like to use is the other important ingredient, which we will add to the chocolate. 
What are you laughing? Tony's still moving that dance on. <laughs> he's got he's nothing. Still, he's, he's got, got nothing, nothing else to do. He There's should be he, he should be paying attention to what you're actually doing so that he could cook it for his well, wife. I don't even have the recipe because my wife wrote out the recipe for me and now I forgot. Do I have to mix the butter now or mix the butter? I don't know. Anyway, let's look at marshmallows. Just make it up as you go. Make it up as yeah, I go. Fine. Right. Marshmallows. You have to have marshmallows in Rocky Road. I love marshmallows. And a lot of the Rocky Roads that you buy are really just all marshmallow. You know, the one I make... I like to add other things in there, like the peanuts and things like that. But anyway, half a cup of marshmallows. This is for the batch that half we're making, cup. the quantity okay. that we're making, you see. So half a cup. I like to use uh, the variety, you know, for the kids. You've got the white marshmallow, the pink marshmallow. A different marshmallow, colour, yeah, Different of things for the kids. You know, they get all excited and happy, you know, make them happy. That's kids love marshmallows. Kids love, they do, they Every do. time I hear That's marshmallows... So I think of, uh, you know, like a campfire and you're melting, melting the marshmallows, the marshmallows and then putting it in your mouth and getting burned oh, and stuff it. like that. It's the best. We, yeah, exactly. we did that not long ago with the boys. Did you, oh, when you went to camping Straight a few break. weeks ago with your yeah. dad. Wonderful. Now, the next ingredient, ma- uh, not mushrooms. The, the only thing is, mushrooms. With, I was about to with, say mushrooms. With, with that, sorry, real quick, just a quick story. Yeah. Lorenzo, I didn't realise, but what he did, he had the stick that you put the marshmallow on. And he was holding it in the fire, but I wasn't paying attention. I, was, I don't know what I was doing. Of course. Anyway, then he turns around and goes, Daddy, can you put the marshmallow on? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. And I'm like, I've grabbed the marshmallow, I grabbed the stick, and it burnt my hand just from... Just, so you I wouldn't have even had to put the marshmallow on I, the campfire no, because the stick was already hot. It was already just, hot, so I kind of just... Pssst, yeah, That's it. not a bad idea. Hmm, you should try it. I might try it tonight when I do my barbecue. Yeah. Now, half a cup. Again, we like to keep it simple, half a cup of everything. But, of course, everything is to taste. Some people may like more coconut. This is coconut, folks. Coconut. Coconut. Mm. Just like they had on Gilligan's Island, they used to eat coconut all the time. You know, because that's all they had there, coconut Co- cream pie. Oh, yeah, co- I love Mary coconut. Marianne made coconut everything. Coconuts are great. Coconut's great. This is the sh- uh, whatever, shredded or however it is. And So just pour that in. I like to sprinkle it around, you know. Yeah. Have you ever tried climbing a coconut tree? Um, no. Have you? Oh, my dad has. Has he? Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Michelle just put a sign up to say, need to put uh, this next ingredient <laughs> in the actual, in the actual uh, with the chocolate as it's melting. Now, this, folks, is called, for everyone in Australia, this is called Kofa. Kofa was used Kofa. when making chocolate crackles. You know chocolate crackles you remember oh. as a kid? Or is it before your time? Probably before my time. No, chocolate crackles. Yeah, no. Now, folks, for our friends overseas in the US, you don't have Kofa there. You have what's called Crisco. You can go buy that in the US. It's called Crisco. Okay. It's pretty much the same. Is it the same thing? It's exactly the same, but they don't call it Kofa. And in the UK, it's called Trex. So you can go into a store there and you can get Trex, but they won't have Kofa. Wow, you're all over this. So this is just, it's just some type of... Fat, really. I don't know what it is. It's just some lard thing that's probably great for the heart, you know, I suppose. I don't really think this is heart foundation approved. But anyway, let's great. just see how it goes. And I'm going to be the one who tastes it. Fantastic. Here we go. Pour that all in there. It's, it's melting is it away. Going well? Do you, you, don't, away. you don't have to, like, stir it or anything. It just melts itself. I'll just give it a little stir now. Just give it a stir. You're good at stirring. Nah, 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 nah. I'm stirring it. You know, this is, this is it. Oh, you mean stir. Like, ah, oh, it looks beautiful. Why don't you sing a song while I stir? I am. I'm just playing. I'll just play some music. I just keep it. Uh... Love to bring the camera, but it's all hooked up. Over to the uh, pot. We might disconnect it later on, and we'll uh, bring it over. What camera? Is it looking good, Joe? It's looking good. We're nearly there with this. We're nearly there. So, Joe, how often have you made this? I, I try to make it uh, as often as I possibly can, you know, because... Because you, know, you did realise we are going to get your wife out here later on and we're going to ask her a few oh, questions. Oh, she won't be coming out, uh, I can Oh, she doesn't now. have to come on the camera, but I'll, I will definitely oh, be asking out. a few questions. Um, even if she just writes them on a piece of paper and writes, says them back to me, it's fine. Well, I think people can tell by the way that I don't really know what I'm doing. That I don't know. You I don't know really get in the kitchen that often, unfortunately. I think you're doing a great job. Unfortunately. 
Up so this is melting away here. beautifully here for Tonalu. In fact, it's what nearly ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> How's Coconut that? tastes great. How's that dance sign? Have we moved it again or is it still in the same place? No, the dance sign is still in the same place. My dad's not doing his job. He's not okay. doing his job this morning. Oh, it's, it's, it's moving. I don't know if that's going to melt out if I, I... don't know if it's going to melt if I... You do have it on. It's, it is on. It's not like... Like the heat is on. The heat is on. Oh, it's perfect. Heat it's is perfect. perfect. Now, before, before we add that final ingredient, I've got my mitt here because we always got to be safe. We don't want to burn Yeah, of, of course. Right? Definitely. Especially me because I'm hopeless at this stuff. Uh, yeah. I will uh, put the other final ingredients in. So the next thing so what we're going to yep. add is peanuts. 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 Okay. Peanuts. These are peanuts. Peanuts. But what happens, like, like I could be allergic to peanuts. <laughs> you got? Are you allergic uh, to peanuts? No, I'm not. Well, I didn't know that. But there are people. There's a lot of, of people course. that are. So rocky. is there? Is there an alternative? <laughs> well, this is why it's called Rocky Road. You know, it, it's a rocky road. If you're going to eat this, you could ups and downs. It's going to be a bit choppy and rocky, <laughs> depending rocky. on what you add in there. No, but look, uh, of course, if you're allergic to to peanuts, don't add peanuts in. Of course. Uh, put some type of um, non-gluten or substitute or vegetarian substitute to peanuts. I don't know. <laughs> I put the peanuts in. I'm lucky enough to put this in. What? Just the plain old peanuts. <laughs> now, you know, we're lucky here in, in, in Queensland where we are because our peanuts come from a, uh, an area called Kingaroy, which is known for, for, build, uh, for growing lovely peanuts. Yeah, we've, so, I've been out there a number of times. So I just add half a cup. Everything's half a cup. Keep everything simple. They always, there's a big sign as you leave Kingaroy. What, it says, see you later? No, it says, don't oh. leave without your nuts. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, that's what it says on the oh, sign. No, 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 oh, it's, it's great. Yeah, it these is great. These are all out of shot, and they've they? actually all these got, dishes are out of shot good. They do actually have a lot of really nice peanuts. They've got a peanut van. They have, um, and as yeah. you drive into Kingaroy, isn't it? Mm. So, you know, it, just the normal peanuts, uh, whatever you like. If you don't like peanuts, if you want to add almonds, you want to add cashew, whatever you like. That's why it's a rocky road. It's your call, okay? Now, the last ingredient that I always have to have, and, and some of the rocky roads you buy in the shops, it doesn't have this, and that's why I like to make my own. Yeah. It's the actual jelly lollies. Oh. You know the jelly lollies? Yeah, I like You know jelly. these ones here? You want here? Yeah. You want here? I, I'd go. love yeah, I'd, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you don't have to be <laughs> You, you don't just, have to feed them to I went to church, you know. I was yeah, to yeah, yeah, then, yeah. Now, I like to use it. <laughs> you, you chop them in halves. Yeah, of course. I like to, you chop them up, folks. You know, you just give them a dice them up, however you want, whatever size you want. You know, some people like bigger, some people like the smaller, whatever they prefer. Mm. You know, we're not discriminating here. I like and I, I like, like to put all the different colours because, you know, when the kiddies see the rocky road, they love it. They get attracted the different to the colours, different colours, yeah. you know. So this has got all, and I like to use the ones with the sugar coating, not the plain ones. You know, if it's not already sweet enough, I like to give it another of hit of a bit more sweetness. So yeah, it's I'm going to add very, this very in. Very good for you. Add this in here. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. There you go. It's lovely. It's not coming out. Anyway. <laughs> there we bit of okay, a there you go. Now... It's like me when I go to Cold Rock. I'll get the, um, ah, I'll get, all, I get all of that stuff put in into my ice cream. Yeah. I, I'll get those uh, jelly things there, and also, I don't know why, but I've always loved sour, so oh, the sour sours. things. So I'll get like the sour worms, Skittles, Beautiful. nerds. But you can I, add all that stuff into I'm your, just into like your a rocky big, road. Big kid, you I know, love all that. You can and add all that in with now, um, rainbow ice cream. Now, what's important, folks, is before we add the chocolate, we've got to mix it. You know, I'm, I'm a big course. believer in, you know, mixing, mixing and thing, taking yeah. our time, making sure that it's all done properly. Of course. Okay? Definitely. So look at that. Look how that's all coming together. Look at the colours there. The colours are just so vibrant, so, so appealing. Look at that. Now, there are some great brands in, in Australia. I'm not sure about overseas of actually pre-made Rocky Road, if you find this recipe too complicated uh, to make, which, you know, some people will, some people will, um, uh, uh, you can go buy them. I won't mention any of their brand names because they're not sponsors, but if they want to sponsor us, we'll, we'll mention them next time. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure if they will after they see okay. this video. Okay, here we go. So that's the mixture. Now look at that. Doesn't that look good, Tony? Look good, eh? Beautiful. This is Michelin star, my friends. This is what you call Michelin star. Now, the most important part, let me just grab this chocolate and we're going to pour it in here. 
Okay, I got my mitts on, which I shouldn't have put on because it's actually too hard to uh, grab the spatula here. Let's put that over there. Here we go. Now, this is the chocolate and the Kofa or the Crisco or the Tex, whatever you uh, call it, where you come from. And we're going to just pour that in. Pour that into this mixture. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Smells good, Joe. It does, doesn't it? Yep. It's fantastic. Ah, lovely. Let's pour that all in. Got to get all that goodness out, you know? You can't leave any goodness in here. Of course not. Ah, lovely. Look at that. Okay. I'll just put this in the sink. Because, you know, I like to just clean... Just put it aside. I'll clean it up later. I like to clean as I go, <laughs> Fortunato. You know, I like to clean as I go. That's always a good way of doing it. Now we have to combine all of these ingredients. Just combine it, just mix it up like this, and the coconut's all stirring through, and the chocolate, marshmallows, peanuts, if you want to use peanuts. Of course. Look at that. How good is that? Are you going to play any music or what? It's, oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm, appreciating, I'm appreciating what you're doing there, Joe. And I like to be very gentle, you know? I just like to fold it through make sure that everything combines. I don't like to break things up. I, I just don't like it when th things are, you don't get the whole piece of the, of the, of the condiment. Here, I get you know? what you're saying here. You don't want to like have one of the nuts breaking in half no. and one goes to one side of the plate. And yeah, 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 of course, of course. So look at that. That looks fantastic. This looks like, uh, how can I describe it uh, for people at home? Like you've had a, tummy problem or something. <laughs> <laughs> if it has that consistency, you know you're going well. Here you go. Look at that. Beautiful. All mixed. Now, this is the critical part. This is it. I've got a baking pan here. Not bake. Well, it's a, it is a baking pan, but we're not going to put this in the oven. And it's got baking paper inside. This is so it oh, doesn't wow. stick yeah, to yeah, okay. baking paper. Yep. That so makes it easier when you... I'll just put it down here. And we're going to actually pour, oh, wow, pour the mixture Joe. into this tray. Here we yep. go. Here we go. Here we go. It's a bit hard. It's not, not coming out. Here we go. It's coming out. It's beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's just take this glove off, make it a bit easier. That's it. Now, ah, oh, lovely. Is that the Norfolk Island song? No, it's not. Could be anything, really. I'm just trying to think. There we go. That's everything. Now, Fortunado. Do you want to lick the spoon? Mm, no, you can. You can lick. The you spoon. sure you don't want to lick the spoon? It's all right. You can lick. You can. Look, you there's can. plenty, and it's got coconut on it as well. Yeah, I'm allergic to coconut. No, I'm not. I, it's up to you. If no, you want to lick I the am spoon. not going to lick. Tony, do you want to lick the spoon? No one wants to lick the spoon. Don't you sure? Do you you oh, know okay. why I don't want to lick the spoon? Oh, Because oh. you normally lick the spoon. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. This is the best part. I know. Who cares that, about the rocky road? This no, no, is what you no, want. No, 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 no. You just give me the bowl. Hmm? There's nothing <laughs> left in the bowl. <laughs> clean as you go, folks. Clean as you go. Clean as you go. But he's not cleaning any. He just puts it all in the sink. That's why I got the dishwasher. Mm. Of course. Mm, now I've got chocolate over well, my Well, well done. Now... No, that actually does smell really nice, by the way. Like, I'm not just saying that. Well, now we spread it out in the tray. Nice and even. This is really good, Joe. I didn't realise you could cook Rocky Road. Well, <laughs> this is not really cooking. This is just assembling. Well, this is... 
not really cooked. It's getting there. Let us know. Do you have your own uh, recipe for co uh, for Rocky Road, or uh, how often do you uh, do you actually cook it <laughs> or prepare it? I or? don't think anyone would be making it, but anyway, no, they do. My mum, my mum, yeah, my mum loves making Rocky Road. And at Christmas time, it's always a great idea. You know, you can you know, make it up yeah. and give it to your friends. Now, this is the part that's really important. You see on the bench, I put this rubber mat. Now, what I do is at the end, I like to give it the tap, okay? This is the Joe tap. You've got to do five taps. That was one, two, three, four, five. What that does is it forces all the ingredients and gets rid of air bubbles and the so forth. The compress. The yeah. compress. That's it. Wow. I'll give it another one just for good luck. Okay. You want you to wanna, lick the you spoon? You want to do one for me? No. You no, you can lick this little spoon. I don't want to lick spoon. Just lick the spoon. No. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, yeah. Now. Lick the spoon. Put this in the sink. Leave All you do, folks, now, after it's made, that's what it's got to look like, like that. Fantastic. And you just put it in the fridge. However long, I don't know, until it sets. And because of the kofa, it will actually set and go hard. And that's Is why that you it? Can, you so can, in the fridge? In the fridge. In the refrigerator. Yeah. So I'm just going to put it in the refrigerator. Yeah. For until it goes hard, Tony. It could be uh, a couple of hours. Uh, depends. I mean, it depends what sort of fridge you got. Michelle, you know? on the piece of paper, please. I think I put chocolate on my nose. Anyway, let us put this in the fridge. How long for? How long do you set it for? Until it goes hard. Siri, how long will it? Ah, Siri. Now, She'll tell you. Of course, okay. before we, you know, we always have to move on and clean up as we go. So yes. do you have a song that you want to sing while oh, we... Oh, how long, how long does it take to set? Two hours, probably, for yeah. you know, really, I'm just thinking about it. It usually takes about two hours. Is it about two hours? About two hours. Yeah, that's what yeah. I thought it was, Joe. Yeah, no, my, my wife just put her head through the window and she went, two hours. Now, I don't know if she was actually telling me two hours <laughs> or doing some other symbol there. I'm not sure. But anyway, two hours. Let's just take it as that. Two hours, yes. all right. So while we wait for that to freeze, why don't you sing us a song? Another song. Another song. I don't want to cough because I have to cough, but I, I don't want to cough into the mic. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I clear my voice, throat a bit. Um, how's that song go? It's uh, uh, stuck on you. You know the song, stuck on, stuck on you. Okay, I got it. I think. Ah, uh, ah, uh, view drinking up. All right. Sugar, shake an apple off of an apple tree Sugar, shake a sugar but you never shake me ah, No siree, oh yeah I'm gonna stick like glue Stick because I'm stuck on you I'm gonna rub my fingers through your long back hair Squeeze you tighter Stick like glue, stick because I'm stuck on you. Hot in the kitchen, hot in the hole, ain't gonna do you no good at all. Cause once I catch you when the kissing starts, team wild horses couldn't tear us apart. I tried to take the tiger from his daddy's side. That's the kind of love that I'll give it right on No siree, oh yeah I'm gonna stick like you Stick because I'm stuck on you Hide in the kitchen, hide in the hall Ain't gonna do you no good at all Cause once I catch you when the kissing starts White horses couldn't tear us apart Cause I was on his daddy's side That's the kind of love that'll give us pride uh -huh. No siree, oh yeah I'm gonna stick like you Stick because I'm stuck on you I'm gonna stick like you Stick because I'm 
stuck on a you I'm gonna stick like glue Stick because I'm stuck on a you Stuck on you Stuck on you That's a good song about the Kofa Because that's what the Kofa does It, it sticks, sticks it all to, together that's, that's why I did it Very appropriate I thought, yeah, that, I, I knew that's what Yeah, that's what I was thinking of when, when I sang it Of course Now, two hours, right? Two hours. We're very fortunate because... It's gone we, that quick. Did you see how fast two hours just went? It's just gone so fast. Now, with, through the magic of Facebook, of course, I'm going to try to speed up this freezing process for you. Okay? You, well, you've got a special freezer, too. I've got a special freezer. You have a special yeah. freezer. So through the magic of Facebook, abracadabra. <laughs> Tony. You were too slow on, on the chimes, mate. Let's just try one more time. Through the magic of Facebook, abracadabra. That was a much more powerful one, that one here. Now it's going to be like a rock. We won't be able to eat it. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look. Here it is. The, wow. the magic was so powerful that the actual colour of the container changed as well. That's, that's how lucky we are. And don't forget, folks, you do have to put a bit of plastic over the top as well, you know, just to protect it from anything of in the course. fridge. So what I want to do now, Mr. Fortunado, is I'm going to take oh, it out that's funny. and I'm going to actually chop this up so people can see how beautiful this rocky road is. Okay, and how, so, you've, so this one's been, this is the one we just did and it's been in there for two hours. Two hours, two hours. Perfect. I just made a big mess. Got to take some of this baking paper off. Just again, clean as we go. Of, of course, of course. Clean as we go. Okay. By the way, let us know in the comments if you are enjoying uh, this lovely demonstration, cooking uh, demonstration, which uh, <laughs> a good friend here, Joe Bucolo, is doing. <laughs> now, chop her up. Because, chop her up. because the magic was so strong, as I said, this has become like a rock now. <laughs> you need a... Just put it in the microwave. Uh, jackhammer. <laughs> uh, jackhammer. Here we go. Oh, look at that. All right, give me the big piece on the right. You take the look at piece. that beautiful goodness here. Now, I'll just I'll chop off a little piece for you, just to give it a try. What? Okay. You yeah, chop it up whatever size you like. Okay. Portonado, please, right. mate. You try that. Okay. Tiny. Here you go, mate. It is cold. Cold, of course. Here you go, Tony. Oh, I dropped it. Tony, there you go, mate. It's nice and clean, the bench. Enjoy. Not try this real piece here. Mm. Heaven. I'm in heaven. Mm. Lovely. Just make sure you've got dental cover, folks. Okay, and I would recommend maybe don't eat it on a Sunday because the dentists, after our dentists, are very expensive. Mm, beautiful. You, you like tell it? me that now, it's Sunday. So, that was beautiful. That's it, I'm just going to take this away now. Yeah, no, no, we're happy to have a couple more pieces. Like, oh, actually, I'll just leave it here. I just get worried because I'm not sure. It's, it's kind of like the Tim Tams. Remember the Tim Tams that night when we oh, were out? Oh, yeah. I That's had that first one, but I wasn't sure if... If it was enough. If it was right or not. So I, I Would always you like another have... piece just to make sure? I'll grab that. Here we go. Try, the best one's on all Here we go. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> you good? Are you good? Tony. <laughs> hey, Joe. Are you good at making coffee? <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I'm going to make oh, the coffee sorry. now. Just for yeah, you. I love the coffee as well. That'd be perfect. Ah, yeah. and my hands have got all chocolate on them now. Don't worry about oh. it. I've got to clean as I go for tonight. You know what I'm like? I don't want to get any water on your mixer either. Mm -mm. Okay. Let's oh. move on. Let's move on. While you guys are chewing... Because you can't talk and chew at the same time. We'll move on to the next uh, uh, dessert. 
that we're going to make. Now, mm -hmm. let me just grab the, some of the ingredients, which I pre-prepared, of course, <coughs> to save time. This is what's called an Anzac biscuit. Anzac biscuit. Anzac biscuit. Now, it won't be known to our friends in the US or overseas. Now, they, they were originally called soldier biscuits because uh, when the soldiers went away to mm -hmm. fight a war, yeah. people at home wanted to send them a gift or send them some food, and a lot of the things would spoil. It's not like now where they put it on a plane and it gets here the next day. Yeah. Things would take months to arrive. So they invented this biscuit called a soldier biscuit. Uh, when the ingredients and how the biscuit ends up, it could last for a very long time and could actually be, be sent on a ship and the moisture of the water wouldn't affect the biscuit. Wouldn't do anything. Okay. Then during World War I, yep. the Great War, uh, the name of the biscuit was changed from soldier biscuit to Anzac biscuit in, uh, um, to, because of the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, Anzac. That's and that's where okay. the name Anzac biscuit, biscuit yeah. came from. Okay. okay. So every year around Anzac Day, in Australia, it's not uncommon for people to make this biscuit. But I like to make it because it's got a lot of nice oh, ingredients I that I like. Yep. Uh, ginger uh, and so forth. Not ginger, what's it got in there? Uh, I don't even know what it's got in there. It's got something in it anyway <laughs> I hope uh, so. that I really like the taste of. Now, I've just got to put the kettle got, on. I've got to put the pot got, on because I have to boil a little bit of water. Hasn't it got coconut in it as well? Uh, it's got, uh, no, it's got, no. Has it got coconut? Yes, it has got coconut in it as well. Well, you've got to use the leftovers, don't you? Mm. So you might as well make the Anzac biscuit. Of course. Of course. Now, folks, better grab my recipe. <coughs> Can you see that in the shot, Tony? We don't want to give away any secrets here. The first thing we're going to do is, again, a clear bowl. I don't usually use a clear bowl, but we will for this. We're going to put in half a cup of flour. Half a cup. Okay. Now you can put a full cup as long as you just double the ingredients of to course, suit yourself. To do whatever it whatever is. Whatever size you want to make. But for me, half a cup. I'd already prepared this, so I've got uh, plastic on it, so just bear with me a second. Half a cup of flour. Here we go. Pour that in there. This is just plain flour, nothing uh, special. So plain flour. Plain flour. Now we put in uh, coconuts. Half a cup of coconut. I've got to take the wrapping off. Do you like coconut uh, juice? The, you know, the coconut milk? I've never milk? had it. Never had it. Coconut milk. What's it taste like? Do, you you are it? joking. You are joking. I've huh? never had the coconut. These are things that, that your generation invented. In my time, they didn't have any coconut milk. You just got the full cream milk. That's all you had. That's it. You didn't have A2, A5, A10, lactose-free, uh, this, that. Yeah, but no, no. But but have you yeah, have you ever found like a? Uh, you've probably never been to a tropical island, have you? Have you ever well, found I mean, coconut? I had coconut, and but I haven't actually purchased milk in the container. Try next time. Just go to Coles, Woolies, wherever you go, and buy coconut. What's it taste like? Oh no, the coconut's fine, but I've never had the actual. Yeah, milk but the, in, the normally that's got. The, the milk on the inside. So you just yeah. pierce a couple of holes where the little eye thing is. Do you up. think it's that easy to pierce a hole in the coconut? It's not that hard. Is it easy to make a hole in the coconut? <laughs> yeah. With a drill? No, they've got like a soft part. And that's where you've got to put the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get... But you've got to use a knife or something. Just get... Oh, I, yeah. I would use... Or just like a small screwdriver thing just to pierce the hole in. And then, and then drink the milk. And then turn it upside down into a cup and it'll come out. Does it taste the same as the one that you actually just go to the supermarket and buy in the container? I don't know. Have you ever tried it? No, I haven't. That's why I thought you may be using yeah, it no, on your I cereal. In the no, morning. no, it's, it's good. And, and if you do that, put it in a cup and then put it in the fridge and make it nice and chilled. Yeah. It's, it's really nice. Is it? Hmm. Oh, I learn a new thing every hey, day. you got to learn. Like, you know, what what happens if you were, teaching me. Just what like would you, happen if you got stuck on a tropical island? Like Gilligan's Island. Yeah, what would you do? You wouldn't. You. Well, I'd have to. Well, Mary Ann would be cooking for me. Mary Ann, you reckon? I don't Mary know Ann. if Mary Ann's going to come She'd all the way from America me. to do it, cook it for you. All day, all night, Mary Ann. Here we go, mixing the Anzac biscuit. Now, half a cup of coconuts. 
together with the flour. Half a cup of, oh, sorry, quarter, one quarter cup of plain uh, refined white sugar. Yum. Okay. And then for the colour, we put 30 grams. Now I'm not sure you have to convert it into US, you know, ounces to grams and whatever. I don't have my but phone. 30 yeah. grams is fine. Yep. Of uh, brown sugar. Okay. Okay. Now we, I like to mix this, of course, because, oh, and the oats. Sorry, this oats. is the most important that's, part. That's the one. That this was is what the oats. We were, yeah. That's what we were thinking of before, the oats. The oats. oats. This is what makes the oats. Anzac biscuit. It's actually the oats. So um, I don't know if they're called oats in overseas, but in Australia, they're oats. So we just pour that in. How many viewers have we got? And we mix it up. Many people watching or, or have we dropped from 90 to 20 now? Sorry, my dad's asleep. Oh, hey, Tony. He's gone to sleep. Where are we going? Tony, are you awake? He's concentrating. Wake up. I was still watching the comments. Nancy, his wife Nancy, sent the, your mum's sending... He's the Flintstones. She's sending love messages to him. Uh, I miss is you. It, is it the love messages? Yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> Okay, now we have to melt some butter, oh, which I've already butter. done. That's easy. I've already done the melted butter. Do you do, and how do, you, do you just do that in the microwave? Just in the microwave, 20 seconds. Yeah. Uh, uh, if that's all that, that it needs. <laughs> Coconuts. Desiccated, yes, that's it. Desiccated coconut, that's the one. 60 grams of uh, butter, actually, uh, yeah, Fortunato. It's like dried out coconut that's been shaved. Uh, so, what like to do with the cheese? Grated. Grated coconut, yeah, that's all it is, isn't it? Yeah. And the other thing is the golden syrup. Right? This wow. is extremely sweet, the golden uh, syrup. Ah, yeah, golden Now, this uh, in uh, the US would be molasses is similar to this so you know maybe uh marianne or you know i don't know if they make any moonshine or anything there but they use they might use molasses that all sounds good too. so golden in australia it's called golden syrup there's molasses and uh what's the thing what's the juice that you put on there the sauce they put on the flapjacks when they make the flapjacks you know the the pancakes in america yeah the, well that i was going to say that's what we use, Na use naple but they call it maple syrup. Now, maple, maple. May, may or may not be the same. But it is extremely um, sweet. sweet. Yeah. Mm. So I'm going to actually add the... Let me just check my recipe. The golden syrup will go into the melted butter. So I'm going to actually add it to the melted butter over ah, here. Ah, okay. And I'm going to mix that together. So I've got a measuring spoon here, one tablespoon. This is actually one tablespoon in size. So it makes it easier for me. Yeah. Okay, oh, better not put that upside down. Now, you know, you can put a little bit extra because you've got to remember that it's going to stick to it. So when it falls out, you're always going to have a little bit sticking to the inside. So just put that in. Yeah. Uh, now, for, excuse me, Fortuna, I'll just grab a spoon out of the drawer here. Just a little spoon. Let's get all that goodness out. Lovely. Okay. So I'll just mix that up, mix that together. Beautiful. Combine all that. It's a little bit difficult to combine because one is less viscous than the other. Of course. Da, 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 da. This is lovely. I've never seen anyone uh, cook Anzac biscuits before, so it's lovely being able to sit here yeah. and watch you make these Anzac well, biscuits, you know, Joe. And it's a tradition too, because this has been dating back, you know, 120 years, 130 years yeah. in Australia. Yeah. People have been making Anzac biscuits. And, you know, when you think about it, mums and, you know, sisters and dads would have been making these biscuits, well, maybe not 100 years ago, probably the dads wouldn't have been cooking, but the mums would have been making these biscuits, thinking about their child that was off at war. And thinking about, you know, I'm going to make this biscuit with love 
to send it over there so he can yep. share it with his friends. So it's got a lot of, lot of history in Australia. So here we go. So that's all combined. Butter and golden syrup. And there's no eggs. No, there is no eggs. No, no. If there was eggs, forget it. Uh, I wouldn't know what to do. So, <laughs> so just uh, pour I that all in. Because I could hear the this. chickens outside before, and I thought, oh, you've got chickens. You must have eggs. Did you hear chickens? No, that was my uh, Indian rig neck parrot. Indian I thought, oh, no, no, sorry. Ah. No, that, was just, that was you with the chicken. I, oh, the, the chicken. You, you know why I'm not going to do the chicken sound right now? Because my wife is about to pop her head through and kill me because I didn't add one of the ingredients in with this wet combination. So I'll have to put it in the bowl. Now, I'm going to have to do... It's 15 it all mixes mil, up at the end, don't worry. It'll be fine. of water. Just water, plain water. So I'm just going to grab water. it now. Plain water. And, uh, yes, just uh, give me a sec. Give me some music, Fortunato. has to have, the reason it's, it's uh, hot water, that's why I had the, uh, the kettle on, you have to add a quarter oh, of tablespoon of bicarbonate. Oh, yeah, that's Yeah, tough. bicarbonate. Yeah. So this is why Make that. I have to uh, add it to this water exactly. while it gets all excited and the bicarb activates. And then we will pour it into the mixture here. So I'll give it a nice little stir here with my little cup. You can hear it fizzing away. Can you hear it? I can. I'll put it on your microphone here, look. Lovely, isn't it? Why are you going to put it on my microphone? Yeah. Didn't people used to drink this? Some people used to drink it, eh? For, for the stomach, for acid. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Your grand Did he? Grandfather used to. The bicarbonate. So there you go. Heartburn. For heartburn, yeah. <laughs> oh, so first, yeah. <laughs> first he'd finish a bottle of wine, and then, of and then he'd start feeling sick, so he'd start drinking that. So, here we are. Now, we have to combine all this. We've got to mix this all up. And believe me, that plenty of, uh, of uh, moisture there, that's all combined. We've just got to be a little bit patient. Just, yep, slowly. No rush. Fold it all through. Here we are. Ah, oh, lovely. Working all day Now the sun don't shine Trying to get by And I'm just killing time I feel the rain pretty much there actually so that was good timing so there you go you get the idea folks you got to mix it through combine everything and you can see now how it's all changed color and it takes on that color of that brown sugar that beautiful brown sugar and the syrup maple syrup or whatever it's called here what is it called golden syrup golden yeah, it's syrup. all the same same so same it's all marketing same 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 Maybe not. My wife would be, she'd be saying, it's not the same. It, it, it's, it's, yeah, probably not. Or maybe they can write it in the comments. They Let us know, it. is yeah. it the same? Yeah, well, is we'd it the like same to or know. Not? Yeah, you know. So. It's ringing the bell. Now, we have to just put it together. Now, I actually like uh, to add a little bit of a twist to mine. I like to add little uh, raisins and things oh, to really? my Anzac biscuits. So, okay. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll make half, half a batch without raisin, yeah. and then I'll throw my raisins in, combine them, and I'll finish off the rest of the batch. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so you this quantity get... here will make about uh, 12 biscuits, a dozen biscuits, right? Okay. So I just got my tray here, my oven tray, and uh, I'll just put my gloves on because, you know, I like to be clean with everything. Of course. Tonight, so. I was just thinking, Joe, um, how much is it to buy these at the shop? Like $3 or something? It's probably yeah, a couple of dollars and you at probably the get shop. Tw and you get 24 of them. And you get 24 and you know, making them at home would probably cost you $12 and you get <laughs> six of them or 12. 
So, all right, yeah, no, it's but just, it's a love of it. It's you know? good to know. It's good to know. I'm just. Um, but yeah. they don't taste the same. The ones in the shop, do no. they? Well, I don't know. I've never made them at home. Here we go. I'm gonna put this glove on. <sighs> You're right. You'd... I'd make a terrible surgeon. Patient will be <laughs> waiting. Glove will be going on wrong. We're losing him. We're losing him. <laughs> Sorry, my glove. Look, it even ripped and everything. <laughs> terrible. So now I'm going to actually go back and use my tablespoon that I had used before. We don't like to recycle the ingredients. So here we go. Mix it all up again. Is that the one that you licked? Hey, yeah, the one that I licked. Yeah. No, I didn't lick it, did I? No, I didn't lick it. All right. Now, see, just grab a scoop full. Let's put it in your hand. Look at this. Look how simple this is. And then you just make a ball. Just roll it into a it? ball. That's it. Just make a ball. Just make a ball. You roll it into a ball. And, you know, you just got to look at your sizing. But everyone's different, of course. Some like it bigger, some like it smaller. Some people like big balls, some people like little balls. It's, it, 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 and, you know, you make whichever size ball you like. That's what's important. Yeah, very, you know? very important. We're not going to sit here to tell you you've got to have this particular size ball. Whatever it is, it is. Like this one here is a little bit smaller ball. I'll just add a little bit more to this one. Uh, See, put a little bit more. There's a song about... Which one? That bouncing. What's that... Bouncing ball, ba bouncing back to you. Uh, you like a well, you better ball, sing baby. Something. That's all that I am to you. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Yes, the rubber ball, baby. Bouncy, bouncy. You know that one, don't you? No. That's why I'm bouncy, bouncy. Yeah. It's going to take me a little while to make all these balls. Bouncing back to you. I like a rubber ball bouncing back to you, to you, to you. So many great songs. All right, let's hey, listen, one. what's going on with your tours? Is there anything um, that you want to tell us? What's coming up in the next few months? What is coming up? Um, New Year's Eve. That's pretty much the only one that we've got some That's availability it. to at the moment. Everything else sold out. We've got, uh, I think, did we get, we got another one or two yesterday. So, yeah, there's only about four spots left for New Year's Eve. Um, from Brisbane to Stanthorpe, we're doing a New Year's Eve in Stanthorpe, but we're doing a bus trip from Brisbane. Um, overnight, leave on the 31st, come back on the 1st. And, uh, yeah, we're going to the uh, Stanthorpe RSL Club. So that'll be, that'll right. be uh, a really busy night. Um, but, yeah, looking forward to doing that. And then, of course, we are doing Norfolk. Next year, in July, um, that's pretty that? much sold out. Sold out as well? I think we've got one, one, one spot left now. Wow. That's all we've got, one spot. So, you've got to definitely be quick, don't you, when you've got to book these things? Yeah, definitely. So, uh, yeah, there's only, I think, I'm pretty sure there's only the one spot. So that's for Norfolk for next year in July. And we're looking at possibly going up to uh, Cairns next year. Um, North Queensland in September next year. We're doing a... Uh, I'll be up there performing for the uh, Mariba Italian Festival, uh, the Lady of the Chain, Our Lady of the Chains, and, uh, and we're going to organise a, a trip up there as well um, and probably do six nights in North Queensland, start off in Cairns, uh, go up to the uh, Atherton Tablelands uh, for a couple of nights as well and then make our way down and go to Innes Vale and through, you know, Mission Beach, Tully, go down to Ingham and, and then depart from Townsville to come back. So, yeah, we're looking at doing a, a six-night uh, tour next year in September. Um, but that's still early days, but I thought I'd just let you all know. Uh, we have already started taking some names for that. Uh, so once the itinerary is ready, uh, we will definitely put it out there and, and start pushing it and promoting it and and uh, taking bookings but at the moment Sounds um, good. it's more just a north yeah norfolk island is the main one and uh, and yeah stanthorpe but we will be going to stanthorpe for the three saints festival in may um that's a definite but uh yeah we haven't got an itinerary or anything set for that as yet very we'll good come close um, but we are doing a melbourne cup where really uh, just around the corner from here yeah we're going to be at everton park, park. Everton Park Bowls Club, 
for Melbourne Cup Day. Um, it's a $20 entrance. Um, you will get a, a glass of champagne on arrival and then uh, we will be doing prizes throughout the day. And of course, um, the race is normally about two o'clock. Two, I think. Maybe, go is it memory. three p.m.? Oh, two. I think it's With, two. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, going by memory, it's normally about two o'clock. So we'll be doing the, uh, lots of fun uh, that day. Myself and Frankie will be doing music, dancing, and then um, prizes, giving away prizes. And uh, of course, the, uh, yeah, Melbourne Cup as well. So yeah, looking forward to doing running that. that event as well, which is only in another week and a half. Um, between now and then, I'm going to Tassie. As well, yeah, you, you're yeah. very busy. You want to come to Tassie next week? No, no. I just want to. I just want to get over making these Anzac biscuits. Okay, let's let's now, do folks. Them. You may have noticed that I've rolled them all out here. There's there's twelve here. Well, you got lots of balls there. A lot of balls, and some did end up bigger than others. And that's like Fortunables. Then you know we can share them all out later. Yeah. Now you may have noticed that uh, I did halfway through add uh, raisins as well to my mixture. Okay, so, so you've got this some have got them, raisins, some don't. Yep. Yep. Now, we've got to put these in the oven. These actually do require an oven. So preheat your oven, folks, to 180 degrees Celsius. Now, for our friends overseas, about 350 Fahrenheit. And these will go in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. What's important is that you do watch the, the biscuit before, um, uh, because it will burn. It, we, yeah, it'll, they'll, they'll burn. And of course, the longer they stay, the crunchier they become. Now, one thing I did forget to do is to actually press them down. So you just got to tap them down a little bit, slightly, not too much, because they will expand. Uh, and just tap them down just a little bit like that. Beautiful, beautiful, fantastic, lovely. Look at that. Look at that. This is just, can't wait. Can't How wait. long do they stay in the oven for? Did you 15 to 20 is that it? minutes. Okay. Yeah, you'll see they'll, but they'll just check it. start changing. you definitely got to check might it. Be, yeah, my problem is I'd probably end up eating them all before any of them Before they go in. Well, no, before they're ready because I'll be testing them all the time. And, yeah, oh, that's right. Could they'll go a left. bit longer. Could go a bit longer. Okay, so I'll just adjust this oven here. Okay. I don't have a biscuit song. Beautiful. All right. Won't okay. you wear my Do you know that one? Well, why don't you sing a song and then What's while, a song while, you would like? while these are cooking away? Go for 15 minutes. Oh, you know we have the magic of Facebook, so we only need one song. Okay, ready? Go. Do you know a song you want? Me? You sing something. I just cook. Follow that dream. I've got to follow that dream. I've got to follow that dream wherever that dream may lead. I've got to follow that dream to find love by me. When your heart gets weary, I move along. When your heart gets restless, I'll sing a song. But when a dream is calling you, there's just one thing that The magic. The magic of Facebook allows us to move forward in time, 15 minutes, folks. So let me just, I guess, just feel the, feel, you know, we sing, we need the Sweet Caroline song, because that'll give me the power, that'll give me the... We're the game. Just the chorus. <laughs> hands, touching hands, touching hands, reaching reach out, <laughs> touching me, <laughs> touching you. Abracadabra! <sighs> that took a lot out of me, that one. Lucky, thanks for singing this week. No Caroline worries, song. any any time. <laughs> Here we go. Let me just open oh, the oven. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, and they've even cooled down enough that I won't even have to use oven mitts. 
This is the technology these days. It's unbelievable. Folks, folks. Watch out, don't burn your hands. Look at this. Look at this. Anzac biscuit at its best. Let me just put these on the, on the plate here. Display plate for you. Got the raisin ones. You must have tried some because there were more in there before. I only makes 12. That batch only makes 12. <laughs> I haven't tried any. I've been waiting for you. This one's a bit uh, burnt. That's okay. Beautiful. There you go. Look at that. What do we think of that? Let us know in the comments. Now, which one do you want to try? No, you want to try the raisin the, or non-raisin? Probably not the burnt one. They're all burnt. Which one? Uh, <laughs> the raisin or non-raisin? Non-raisin or raisin? Oh, I'm not. I, I, I was raised to pretty much eat anything. Well, which one? I don't yeah, yeah, take this one again. I hope it's not too hard. Tony, raisin I or non-raisin? I hope non -raisin? not because the dentist is Be is careful, close. Tony, because it, there might the be... The dentist is close to that. <laughs> Duri gomi beji in Sicilian wow. means hard as a rock. Are they, well, they're meant to be hard. Are they all right? Yeah, burnt, perfect. Are they really? I'm going to try a raisin one. I'm going to try this burnt raisin one. Maybe you can hear it through my mic. I can, I can hear it from here, but it's just like it's not hard, it's not soft, it's just perfect. It's perfect. Hmm, we should put the coffee on now. Hmm. There you go. It's funny when I... Not bad. I told Antonio that I was coming over here to do a cooking yeah. thing with you. And he said, oh, can I come, Daddy? Because I, I can be the tester. Well, he can take these and he can eat them all. Hmm. That's good. So, <laughs> that's the end of the cooking show. There's nothing else that, I, You've done that I've got to make. Job. That's great. I cleaned up. I put it in the dishwasher. How much easier do you want? Beautiful rocky road, folks, for Christmas, as we said, just in time for Christmas. I like to cut them up and then put it in that nice clear plastic paper and we wrap it up with a little ribbon and then we give it away to our friends. And then, of course, the Anzac biscuits, which you can put in the kids' lunches. That's, of course, if there's no allergies or anything like that. And uh, they, they last for a long time. They've got a great, beautiful, sweet taste and fantastic. Beautiful. Easy to make and uh, traditional recipes uh, over 100 years old so yeah. there you go i think we enjoy that now with a nice cup of coffee oh, that's it. or tea or tea beautiful que bella cosa è una giornata di sole l'aria serena dopo una giornata in festa che l'aria fresca Fare già una festa, che per la cosa la giornata di sole, ma tu sole, più bello in me, o sole mio. Sei pronti a te, o oh sole, o oh sole mio, stai pronti a te, stai pronti a te, stai pronti a te, stai And there you go. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. And, uh, you know, we just want to say thank you all for everyone who joined in. We almost went for an I, hour, just a little bit over an hour. So we've, there we've you done go. well. We have done and, well. And, uh, yeah, we hope to be able to bring you a few more of these cooking shows in the future. And maybe next time we might make a traditional pasta sauce or something wow, a little bit be nice. more complicated. Well, we have had, we, I, I have, I'll be honest, Joe, we have had some uh, recipes come through. Uh, some people have already sent recipes oh. that they would like us to have a go at. 
Um, but as I said, we really need to practice it before we actually... We've got to practice actually, it beforehand. So did they send the ingredients it. too or just the Yeah, recipes? yeah, no, they sent... Did they send everything in a container? Yeah, yeah, and they've Beautiful. tried to explain because uh, there's been some from the UK, some from America. So uh, as, as you were doing, um, different ingredients, different names, different countries. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, trying to explain which... And yeah, the, We'd the, love to try it. We'd love so to we're going to have to try to do that hopefully in the upcoming weeks or, yeah. or months or years. Whenever you're free. It's always Fortunado who's busy. It's now we Fortunado. have to give a big thanks to your dad, Tony, and with the magic of Facebook. Oh, he's made, amazing. Uh, with to move the dance Abracadabra. Sign. Abracadabra, Tony. Abracadabra. We love it. The magic of Facebook. Absolutely <laughs> amazing. <laughs> so well, we're signing off. Are you going to sing another yeah. song to sign off? Or yeah, I was, just, I was just thinking, like I just sang All Soul and Meal. It's like mm -hmm. one of the most Italian songs Song, you can yeah, think of. yeah. And when we've made Rocky Road and Anzac Biscuits, I just... Multicultural. Uh, multicultural? I was just thinking if it was... Multicultural. Pasta, ravioli, with a bella salsa, and a bella pizza, and then we'll sing... Uh, good day, good day. Good day, good day. There you go. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> you going to help me finish one? We're going to do one together? Oh, well, let's give it a go. Let's see what... It depends what it is. Well, what is like a big pizza pie that's some more That's some more Well, the world's in the shine like it's like too much wine and some more That's some more Bow the ring, ding a ling a ling, ding a ling a ling, and he'll sing me the bell. Hearts will play, 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 like a kid. I don't tell Well, the stars make you do Just like Pasta Fazulas Amore Well, you dance down the street With a cloud at your feet You're in love Ooh. When you walk in a dream That you know Don't have driven Signore Excuse me if I just see Amore, beautiful, beautiful. Job. Well, folks, thank you again for joining us this morning. We hope that it's at a, been at a more convenient time for you all. Remember to like and share, and share it all to your friends so they can all see how to make these uh, these packets of goodness here. For, and we hope you enjoyed. And until we meet again, Are you sure, that's uh, not the one you brought from the shops the other day. Well, don't go giving away all the secrets. Okay, I, I was thinking oh, about it. Oh, jeez. I'm saying goodbye. I'm walking off so you can finish off. Folks, thank you very much. We'll see you again. Enjoy your Sunday. God bless. Ciao. Hey, baby, get paso. I thought I was your own vato. Hey, baby, get paso. Why don't you give me a paso? Come on, baby, turn around. Let me see your lovely blue eyes. Don't you know that I love you? And my heart is only for you. One more time now, come on. Hey, baby, get my soul. I thought I was in a role in Vato. Hey, baby, get my soul. Why don't you give me a vaso? Once again, thank you very much. Thank you uh, to Joe. Um, doing the biscuits and the and the and the, um, and the rocky road, they actually do taste really good. And I am going to have a coffee with this very shortly. Um, but if you want to keep up to date, uh, you can visit the website fortunatomusic.com. All my upcoming shows, um, and of course, I will let you know when we are doing another uh, show like this one here. Uh, let us know in the comments if you did enjoy it, uh, and uh, please. Try to give it a go. If you haven't ever made Anzac Biscuits or Rocky Road, uh, go back, 
look it over and uh, and give it a go and please let us know if you do and uh, and how it all went okay we'd love to know but until next time thank you very much um i'm gonna go have a bit of sleep now i haven't had a lot of sleep last night um and a big hello to to our michelle as well uh what was the question i had to ask i forgot mm. what's the question i can't remember the question i, I had to ask michelle that's because Wow. There you go. Michelle's going to put the recipe on Photo. We're going to put the recipes on uh, my Facebook page. So if anyone would like to give them a go, um, please do so. And, yeah, let us know definitely um, in the comments how you went with that, okay? Once again, thank you very much for watching. Take care. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again very soon. See you later. Thank you.